Well, welcome back. It is Tuesday, and we've got several things that we're going to be doing today. One is we're going to go up on the mast, and we're going to take off all the extraneous stuff attached to it so it's easier to move tomorrow. Uh, also, we are going to be measuring the diameter of the rudder here, right up inside, because we've ordered the uh, steering uh, kit, and we need to know the diameter, so i got a got a tool for measuring that. But while we're around there, we also seen these are the old solar panels that were on the boat. Now I've got some brand new high capacity panels coming, but I might have room for two more. So to find out if these are any good, we're going to have to take them off the old piece of wood they had it attached to so I can take it home and get things tested. Well, let's see what we can do with it there, John. First of all, a little caffeine for the process. And let's sit down and see what we can do with this thing. Okay, uh, we've undone some of the screws. It's just about ready to let loose. One thing I want to mention about the solar panels, you got to be careful. We're going to have to cut some of these wires, but I'm going to cut them one at a time. I don't want to cut them uh, two at a time because even though we got this panel in the shade, it may be generating electricity. And the only way to stop a solar panel from generating electricity is actually completely cover the uh, solar cells, and we don't have the time to really do that. So what I'm going to do is just run it. With an insulated grip, I'm going to cut them one at a time so we can get them out of here. I'm going to cut these right about here to give us as much as possible to work with if they're any good. The other one I don't have to, I just feed the cable through the hole. Eh, looks pretty bad. Cool. Alright, that takes care of that one. And this one will have to be fed separately, so we're going to take care of that. Well, we got them up, and now we got we got data on the panels, which will help out when we uh, check them out and see uh, how good they are. And as you see, this wood is all rotted out underneath here. We're going to have to separate these two panels. I think they're just glued together. Not sure, but. Uh, I'm glad we're pulling them off of this thing. Uh, well, we're going to finish taking them off, and we're going to clean them up. We're going to take them home, test them, and uh, if they're any good, we'll use them. Okay, we finally got them apart, and we're going to be taking them home to test them, but I want to show you. This is how they had them uh, connected. A whole bunch of sealer in between them. It took quite an effort to get them apart. Uh, when you do things and you do projects, it's sometimes better to use more standard methods than have attic methods because if, if this guy ever had to repair these he would have gone through a lot of hell to get them done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them home, test them. If they test okay, clean them up. We might use them, might not. But if we don't and they still work, we'll just end up selling them. Well, let's put them in the car and we'll get going. Uh, we're back in the boat right now, and uh, we've taken some of the stuff out of here, but we got a lot of stuff yet to pull out, as you can see here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the diameter of the uh, shaft that hooks to the rudder. We need that for uh, the people that are putting together our steering column and assembly, because we're switching from a regular old stick rudder there to a steering wheel. And I need to use this. This measures the inside and the outside the diameters of things. Basically I'm going to shimmy down there. I'm going to go ahead and put this around there, get it to its diameter, lock it down, bring it out, and we'll see what its diameter is so we can report it. Normally I would have you uh, take a look at what uh, I'm going to be doing, but it's going to be a little bit tight down there. If you could uh, go ahead and take a look and uh, you'll see the shaft. It's got uh, some like blue-green corrosion on it right now that we're going to have to clean off later. But I'm going to have to shimmy into that nasty crap there and get this down. Off to the right, there's a block uh -huh. attached to the deck, and it's got nails sticking out uh -huh. of it. You can't see it. Yeah, you ra the raper. All yeah, right. It's like right there. Okay. When you go in, go ahead and put this around. Okay. Close it on there. Yep. All right. And screw this tight. Pull it off, bring it out. Pull it, screw it forward to get it tight. There we go. All right. Out of my I gotta loose now. Okay, so I just 
put it there, screw it tight. Careful, careful, there's lots of stuff. Oh, out. yay, all right. Oh, boy. Oh. Toward the left side is more room, I think. Wow, that bitch is far back there. <laughs> Careful anything you touch. Yeah? Why? Make sure it ain't sharp. <laughs> wow. Nice butt shots, John. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to boat rebuilding. You're going to be doing a lot of this. Alright. Alright. Cool. Now if we get the same measurement, that's the one we're going with. Alright. Sweet. Measure twice, cut once is the saying. In this case, it's measure twice uh, before we order the uh, part and uh, are stuck with one that don't fit. We're going to go with one and a quarter. Alright, so I can put this in the toolbox. Alright, uh, we're going to go top side out here, and what we're going to do is we're going to start stripping all of the uh, stuff off the mast here so it's a lot easier to move tomorrow. The uh, less weight it has, the better. And I want to thank John for being our man in the hole. Okay, we're going to start untying some of the ropes and stuff that we had put on the mast to secure it. And then we're going to start undoing some of the hardware. I got John here. Now, when you're working up high like this, you got to be really careful. So we're going to stay near the mast so we don't end up falling over or anything. John, about how far can you go safely? Right there? Yeah. Right here? <laughs> That's why they're Just hateable. think of a happy place. That's not my happy place. <laughs> okay, while we're up here, we're going to talk about the mast. This is the top part of the mast, and a lot of the cables we're going to be taking off, they go all the way down, start up here. So we're going to be taking out some cotter pins and removing a lot of these hook up here. And this right here is the top part of the roller furling, which is a sail that is in the front. It's smaller than the main sail. So I just wanted to show it to you before we get it. We're going to be getting it on the ground tomorrow. Up here, this is where the light used to be. We're going to put a new light up here. We're also going to put some more gear. In addition, we're going to be adding a uh, radar to our unit, and it'll be on a mounting bracket down the mast a little way. So I just wanted to bring that up before we start taking everything off. This is the top part of the mast. OK. What we're doing now is we're having to take off a lot of the hardware off the mast so we can move it easier. We got to inspect the hardware. Unfortunately, a lot of this, you try your end. Of course, it falls off. It's a ratchet. I don't think this end will come off. 